what's our Jason community? If you're new, you already know what to do. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can join the fam. Alright y'all, so today, 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 we're gonna go ahead and get into a little. Y'all gonna do y'all, y'all gonna do my hair with me. Now I'm going to try to do this bohemian, I think it's called boho braids, with him in here. Now, I watched a few videos, more like two or three videos this morning when I decided to do this. I don't know what I'm doing, so this is not a tutorial at all. Y'all just basically going to be chilling with me and my sister and doing my hair with me. And if y'all have any questions, um, oh, I'm going to show y'all what hair I use. So this is the hair that I picked up to do it with, and I'm doing it just with the human hair. So we're gonna see how this turn out. I'm going for like a natural, like a natural hair look, like natural curls and all that stuff. So I did get um, a number two color and I got one B to match my hair. So yeah, y'all just come along with me and and my sister gonna be here in the background. So we just gonna be chilling and talking to y'all. So, um, first I'm gonna start off by separating, go ahead and parting my hair a little bit because I'm gonna part and we're gonna see how this finna go. I'm gonna try to make the parts as straight as I possibly can, but I ain't a professional, so it is what it is. I ain't paying nobody to do it, so it's gonna be looking like how it's gonna be looking. But I think it's gonna turn out cute. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I already um, blow-dried my hair already. Before I got on camera, I went ahead and cut the cut the hair off the webs. So, they just sitting right here. I already separate the hair. So we got the, the first few braids parted up, ready to go. I can't part, so my sister had to come help me and yeah. So I'm gonna start with the first braid. I don't know what I'm doing, like I said. This is the gel we use. So, yeah. All right y'all, so I got the first braid done. Um. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I got the, the hair right here. Kind of looks scraggly. I saw in one girl video, she said use nail glue at the end so you can secure it. And also, let me see. Oh. And I'm going to like trim around the braids to get some of this extra whatever's going on here. That's just one. I'm gonna try to do the next one a little uh, better. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm doing them once I get in the groove because I really don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm still experimenting. y'all so i got the first few done let me know how y'all think it's looking i i don't know i don't know what it's giving what is it giving me it's giving new it's giving rookie but it's okay and i think um for the next row like for the rest of the head i'm gonna do like thicker braids like bigger boxes but that's where we at now. So she about to go ahead and part my next part. So we can continue this mission.
Yeah, we're gonna do a little Q and A, a juicy Q and A. Mm. Daddy gonna ask me the questions while while I do my hair. So just to make the video a little more interesting. All right, so we just got done parting apart for the next row, and my sister is gonna ask me some Q and A questions. So we can talk about that while I while I bury it. It's have you ever been bullied? Um, so yes, actually I have been bullied. Um, so the story behind that is when I used to live in Georgia. Well, I live in Georgia now, but when I used to go to school in Georgia, like in elementary school, something like that, I used to go to a school, we used to go to a school that was like mostly Hispanic people, like Hispanic kids, and I felt like they didn't really like black people because they would always like play tricks on me and act like they're going to play with me, and then as soon as I'm coming to play with them, they'll run away from me. So yeah, I would consider that bullying. Don't bully. It's really mean. And it scars people for life. Next question. Next question is, what is your favorite thing about yourself? Mm, I My favorite thing about myself is that I'm very selfless. I think about other people before myself. Now... If you think about people like more, if you think about other people before yourself, that can be a curse and a blessing at the same time because you won't like you won't take your needs. You won't feel like your needs are as important as other people. So you really have when when you are that way, you really have to teach yourself that your needs are just as important as others. But um, you will know like you're not going to be selfish and. You put everyone's needs in, in where they're supposed to be. So yeah, my favorite thing about myself is that I'm very I'm a very selfless person. Okay. Okay, okay. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is when someone asks me, like start talking to me, like they finna, oh, I gotta tell you something. And then they're like, oh, I'll tell you later. No, you're not going to tell me later. You're going to tell me now. It's like, because I'm excited and I want to know. Like, that's my biggest pet peeve. Well, I would say that and, like, rude people for no reason. If you're rude for no reason, those two things, like, those, those both, like, are, like, number one pet peeve for me. Yeah, that is annoying. Rude for no reason. Yeah. Okay. Are you a virgin? Um, do I look like a virgin? I know y'all see that stomach. I know y'all see that baby. No, I'm not a virgin. Okay, okay. We know that. <laughs> no, sir. What was your, I should be, though. What was your first kiss like? Um, let me think about this. My first kiss... Honestly, I don't know if this was my first kiss or what, but the first time I remember kissing someone was when I was like in third grade and I I got caught kissing the boy because my stupid self, <laughs> me and the boy uh, were in different classes. So we like planned to give each other a kiss or whatever or a hug or whatever. And we did it in front of the classroom door. And literally, like, literally my teacher and all the kids in the class saw what we were doing. So, yeah, that's how my first kiss went, I would say. I don't know if that, I don't know if that's my actually my first kiss. But that's as far as back as I can remember. Mm. You was getting frisky in the hallway. Yeah. Ten, zero out of ten, don't recommend what is red flags for you? Like, what do you think a red flag is for you? Like, what you be like, mm, I don't know. Like, what brings you that? Um, I would say when, like, guys not respectful of your time and 
they, I don't know. Yeah, basically when they're not respectful of your time, when you're first getting to know each other, or like people think just because you're in a talking stage don't mean that you're like, it's not just a time to just, it's a time to get to know me, but it, you need to begin to know me. You don't need to be just doing whatever you want to do. Um, that's, that's, a, that would be a red flag for me. Or like, or like dudes, I don't like dudes that sag their pants either. That's a red flag for me. Have you ever cheated on someone? Uh, no. Have you ever snuck out of the house and for, and why did you sneak out? Um, let me see, have I ever snuck out of the house? No, I've never snuck out the house. Oh, wait. I did sneak out the house. But literally, I didn't go nowhere. I just went to the backyard. I was just trying to make my mom mad. So, yeah. But I wasn't really sneaking. I wanted her to know I was outside. <laughs> my biggest secret? I don't know. I don't really keep a lot of secrets because I don't have no secrets to keep from nobody. So... Yeah, I don't have any secrets. Okay. What's your major what's major turn off for you? Yeah. Like I said before, when guys sag their pants, um, that's a turn off for me. Um, when guys curse a lot or when guys are um not not just like a turn off from men, like a turn off from people in general. I just hate when people are like in other people's business too much they feel like they have to put like an input in everything like when it literally has nothing to do with them at all that's a turn off as well you have any more no nah. i mean yeah but like that's all i can think about right now but i have a lot of turn offs okay. do you get jealous easy no i'm not a jealous person at all not at all all right, that's the end of the uh, little Q and A. Um, I just tried to throw some in there to get y'all, let y'all get to know me a little better. Um, so if y'all have any anything y'all want to ask me or anything about this hairstyle, let me know in the comments. Cause, like I said, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow. If y'all like the end result, like that's good, but. This is not a tutorial, like I said. I'm just doing my hair for free. And how it come out, it's just how it come out. But if y'all like it, that's a, that's a plus. I think I'm going to like it at the end. I really do. I really, really do. All right, y'all. So we halfway done now. Um, Getting tired. We got, um, that's how much we got done so far. Let's set it up for y'all. It's like to my butt. I think it's coming out real cool. We're gonna see when we moose it up. But that's where we at now. Alright y'all, so we finally just finished. I think it came out really cute. We can put the roots on first. I'm gonna do a girl roots. Anyways. So we just finished braiding it and we're gonna uh I'm gonna mousse it. I'm gonna put some mousse on it. This is the mousse I'm using.
it for this video um thank y'all for watching if y'all like the braids let me know in the comments um this was my first time doing this like i said before so yeah thank y'all for watching please like comment subscribe all right jc gang it's been real